Hello, oh, beautiful people. How are you today? Got some more breaking news. Um, if you haven't heard about the ICE agent killing himself, please research on YouTube um, about it. If you haven't seen it on TV, if you haven't seen it on the news, well, it comes as no surprise. The news is run by the satanic order of Nazis that are part of the pyramid scam, scandal, whatever you want to call it, that led to the agent killing himself. UN, Agenda 21. This is all part of it. He laid out plans um, about basically everything that I've been trying to warn people about. FEMA camps, the government, UN coming in, the Sonola cartel. One of the most interesting things I found about the video is now he breaks down the Mexicans and why the foreigners and why the Clintons and Obama administration refuses to do anything about the immigrants and Sonola cartel coming into the United States. I found that the most interesting part about the video, that's why I'm making this video, because I have Sonola Cartel living in my neighborhood. They set up Medical Supply Plus that has an underground facility, which no cop, no government official has done anything about. And I keep reporting it, taking pictures of these people. The first time I did it, the sheriff came out. And I didn't see any cops around the whole day. I just saw sheriffs riding around. So other than that, Medical Supply Plus is still open. It's owned by Copernicus Guerra. That's Nico Guerra's kid and his sister. They set up this organization with the Gulf Cartel, with the Sonola Cartel, with the Narco Cartel, right in my neighborhood because this is stupid fucking gypsy mafia child trafficking rapist piece of shit is working for the government and works with the government and I guess decided when the government comes in to start locking up everybody and killing everybody he gets first picks at me because he's got his shit right up the street so I've been reporting on the Sonola cartel and the narco cartel opening their businesses with the full operation and cooperation of the feds. I just had an ICE agent confirm it to me from his suicide letter. Now I'm going to post the um, YouTube video under here. I'm going to download the video because I'm going to repost it if they take it down. Um, RIP to the 42 year old ICE agent. Thank you. See, people like him know what's up and and know what's really going down and then when people you know want to talk shit about people like me and what I do and what I say and then one guy just comes along and blows his head off and then leaves a suicide letter that he's been writing for like a few days before he did it and this is a government agent that was told to export and import whatever people and then he even says in the letter that he doesn't do anything for ICE. He just sits there and, and wastes time and does nothing and get, collects a paycheck. This is because of Obama. The same faggot that's in the White House, the same faggot that's in the White House with a fucking transvestite, the same faggot that's the biggest human trafficker in the world, that I'm still asking, where did those two girls come from, homosexuals? And based on what what Joan Rivers said, that you know you have two homosexuals in the White House, and now she's dead, and then these homosexuals pass laws in the Senate saying that they can legally take your kids. So I don't care if you don't want to understand what's happening. When it starts going down and you're not prepared, and these fuckers are at your door with guns with the Sonola cartel. Just like they operate in Mexico. They are Satan's killers. That's it. They may live around you and look all nice. They're nothing like you. 
They're psychopaths. That's why the government let them in. If you don't know about the deal with the DEA and El Chapo and the agreement that the DEA made to let all these Satanist necromongers, demons, demon worshippers, demon callers, demon casters into the United States to help them kill us because that's what they do point blank so these guys have governmental jurisdiction that's why they still have their medical supply plus operation still operating even though I can go in front of their building and make a video and say it's a cartel operation well they got feds backing them up why well because the feds are part of the system of the Obama Bush Clinton system where they start wars overseas and then have our troops overseas fighting a battle for for nothing for them killing innocent people why so the troops aren't here at home to stop the Sonola cartel and the other Satanists and immigrants that they've allowed into this country like the Muslims like the Sonola cartel straight up killers kidnappers of children and women it's what they do if you don't know about Muslims and child sex brides and marrying 10 year old kids and if you don't know about Muslims and harems they snatch women and kids for a living so does the Sonola cartel who do you think grabs all the women and kids for all these Satanists that sacrifice kids monthly they don't they just snatch them and deliver them and grab kids for themselves and do the same thing so please listen to the ICE agent suicide letter that NYPD has released I think just like a few like maybe a page of it because I guess the rest of it is too horrific and terrifying well UN, they're part of it. United Nations, huh, started by the Rothschilds. I mean, they're, they're the biggest, some of the biggest terrorists around. I mean, when you look at Agenda 21 and look at what Agenda 21 entails, it entails what that ICE agent is talking about. Pretty much exact, exact. So anybody that's a fan of the UN, well, I'm gonna put forth this question, okay? Agenda 21 was made by Nazis. The UN was started by Nazis, the Rothschilds. These are facts. So then when you have Agenda 21 and everybody that's assigned Agenda 21 in the UN that said, yeah, we agree to this. We agree to killing 90% of the world off UN. And they call themselves the United Nations. These are facts. Now when you read over Agenda 21 or there's there's videos called Agenda 21 for dummies. Go listen to it. Read it. Then listen to the video with the ICE agent and his letter. And read how old Agenda 21 is and how long they've been planning this systematically with the UN and with NATO. And with people that say, we come in peace, they want to tear you to pieces and they want to tear our world and the country to pieces. And they want to kill us all and put us in FEMA camps. I am the chaos. Please get educated. It's getting serious day by day. And one of the things he entails is if you have a debit card, and you function on a credit card. When Puerto Rico goes belly up and starts the economic crash, because that's what the Rothschilds do, that's what they've done throughout history, is cause economic crashes and then cause wars and turmoil around the world. They've done it time and time again. If you don't know finances and how these Satanists operate with money, that's how they operate. So when Puerto Rico goes belly up, it's going to cause an economic crash around the world. They planned it. So if you operate 
on credit cards and debit cards. You're not going to be able to get any money and any way to get food. Period. Get smart. Get your money out of the bank. Leave a little in there and do what you need to do and start operating like a smart person. Because when the shit goes down, it's going to go down. And if they come for me, well, they come for me. I'm ready to die. When I go, you know, and, and, and wherever I go, I did what I did. I tried to wake people up. I'm too broke to uh, go anywhere, do anything. And they made sure of this because they want me dead. And I know that. I don't care. Like that ICE agent, if I had enough proof and if I was an ICE agent, you know, like him, and I had what I did to send a message out to the people to get a real message out, I would have done that. <laughs> Thank you, man. RIP. That's a real soldier. That is a real fucking soldier. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you, man. May you and your family be safe. For you and your deeds. R.I.P. Walk in the light, stay educated. And educate people, even though they don't want to fucking listen. Because when the time comes, it gets too late. And they're like, oh, well, the TV doesn't say anything about it. No. No, the TV doesn't say anything about this. Because they want you sitting at home, and when it happens, they want you unprepared. And when they come to your door with these fucking Mexican cartels with guns, then what are you going to say? Point blank. Peace. that the most interesting part about the video that's why I'm making this video because I have Sonola cartel living in my neighborhood they set up medical supply plus that has an underground facility which no cop no government official has done anything about he laid out plans um, about basically everything that I've been trying to warn people about FEMA camps the government UN coming in, the Sonola cartel. One of the most interesting things I found about the video is now. Hello, beautiful people. How are you today? 
got some more breaking news. Um, if you haven't heard about the ICE agent killing himself, please research on YouTube um, about it. If you haven't seen it on TV, if you haven't seen it on the news, well, it comes as no surprise. The news is run by the satanic order of Nazis that are part of the pyramid scam, scandal, whatever you want to call it, that led to the agent killing himself. UN, Agenda 21. This is all part of it. Now he breaks down the Mexicans and why the foreigners and why the Clintons and Obama administration refuses to do anything about the immigrants and Sonola cartel coming into the United States. I found